It's a mad thing. You have to trick your mind. Girl, if you don't eat right, you're going to gain like five extra pounds. Well, you got to tell yourself that. You got to do whatever you need to do to keep you right on track. So I just want to talk about a couple of topics that I am working on to help better my life. And again, this is my life. This is what, what is helping me. And hopefully it, it will help you all. So number one, what made me come up with this idea is like, okay, it popped up in my head that I want to transition my life into how I want to live. I want to be happy. I want to be successful. I want to be stronger, wiser, healthier. So by that being said, what the first thing you have to do is change your mind. You have to reprogram your mind, yourself on new things that you have to learn that's going to help you out in the long run. So you have to erase your old habits, erase the old you, basically, you said it's gonna be you, but delete and remove all the stuff that you dislike about yourself. So the first thing I wanna go through is changing your mindset. So when you change your mindset, you have to think of positive things. You have, you got to have a great, great positive vibe. Like everything has to be on, not on point, but has to be in a good way. So with that being said, so when you're going through this, I'm going to go tell my story. Like me going through this chain, life changing, I sit back and I had to think about what I've been through, what I dislike, what I want to change, why I want to change, and what I'm going to do to change it. So first thing I had to do is look at myself in the mirror, think about what I didn't like about myself. One of the things I didn't like about myself, I noticed I wasn't happy. So what's not making me happy? I had to think about that. Okay. My living situation as far as am I where I want to be financially, mentally? Is everything around me helping me emotionally? So I had to fix myself by removing toxic people out of my life. So if they're not bringing you good value, if they're not bringing good energy, if they're not promoting you, supporting you, cheering you on, just any of that positive vibes like I was talking about, then you have to remove them. Every time you look around, they got their nose stuck up. They always talking about you. They, they, they think you all that. Yeah, I'm all that. I think I am all that. Everyone should think they all that. So why are you mad at the way I move? So people like that, you got to move them out your way. It ain't mean you no good at all or just a little bit. If you find something that you see inside that person that they envy you, jealousy, anything, remove them. If they don't bring you no good, remove them. Once you do that, you will feel so much better. So I had to remove a few negative people out of my life and like, Woo, baby, relief off my shoulders. I was I was able to breathe again. I was able to be me, move the way I want to move without feeling guilty, judged, looked at funny, probably talked about behind my back, you know. So once you do that, you remove those people out your life, trust me, you will feel a whole lot better. You can sleep good at night. Don't have to worry about nothing. So I'm like, sure, I'm tired of living my life making other people happy. I want to live my life to make me happy. First off, once I'm happy and good, I can really once once I'm once I'm happy and good, my kids good, my people who are around me are good, 
because I'm bringing the positive energy, the positive vibes. I'm not letting the, the ones who was around me, negative energy rub off on me. Now I'm here bringing the stink vibes. Mm -mm. That was never me and it's not going to be me. So once you remove the negative people out of your life, trust me, you will feel so much better. Like, so much better. Big brick was sitting on my shoulder. Once I did that, I was able to move to the next step, which was I always was close to God, but getting closer to God, praying, meditating, write down in your journal, talking to yourself, like motivating yourself mentally, not just talking to yourself like you crazy, but <laughs> talking to yourself, like giving yourself that prep talk. Doing all of that will boost your 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 self-esteem much higher and just pray to god like lord help me walk through me through this journey and trust me he will he will walk you through hold your hand and I always go back to going through the valley he will hold your hand as you go through that valley and another thing i was like i don't like my weight i gained weight my weight has always been up and down up and down i can lose it gain it just like that lose it gain it like that it's hard to lose but then it's quick to gain it back so now i'm like okay instead of me going on this diet i need to make a lifestyle change i need to eat healthy food i need to work out at least be more active instead of just being active if i'm like going out or hanging with the girls and this and this and that no i need to do more walking gym pilates whatever i need to do to get in the gym so I'm working on a healthy lifestyle and this is my first week and I did real good. Today was a cheat day. My cousin barbecued today and I ate some pasta, but I didn't eat any bread and cause I already had the carbs from the pasta and everything. So small portion, I still ate a small portion and that was it. But being on this healthy, like, um, healthy lifestyle been on this healthy lifestyle is really like okay i can do this i can do this it's a mad thing you have to trick your mind girl if you don't eat right you're gonna gain like five extra pounds well you gotta tell yourself that you gotta do whatever you need to do to keep you right oh okay. me and my sister or get you a partner somebody who's on the journey same journey as you Y'all can motivate each other, feed, uh, piggyback off each other, and that will work like so well. You be extra motivated because you got to check, girl, did you cheat today? No, I ain't cheat today. Oh, what did you eat? You know, you can go back and forth with somebody instead of doing it alone. There's no, there's not a problem doing it alone, but having somebody do it with you on this journey, your health journey is, is a, it's a go. So I would suggest finding somebody in your circle that's, that wants to lose weight and eat healthy with you. It's, it's much funner that way. And again, going back to being close to God, I always get close to God because if anything else fails, he will have your back, most definitely. When you're going through depression, he got you. Any type of mental, mental issue, he got you. Just down and out he got you if you're on top he got you <laughs> if you're rolling baby he still got you no matter what people will turn their back on you quick but he's always there in in your corner forever forever say yeah, okay i removed the negative people out of my life so what's next okay i'm eating healthy i'm eating healthier than i was i'm removing the toxics and stuff detoxing out of my body Okay, I'm working out. I'm going to the gym, Pilates, all that. Okay, cool. Okay, so what's next? I want to be like, you know, I, my face is not as smooth as I, as it used to be growing up. After you had kids and get older, you know, you have breakouts and all this stuff. Okay, so I don't know how to do makeup, but I could put on some concealer. So that's what I've been doing. Like when I go places, I... You know, I want to fix myself up a little bit. Ain't nothing wrong on enhancing your beauty because, baby, lashes, I throw on some lashes and, and some lip gloss quick. But sometimes I throw on a little concealer, you know, cover up the little blemishes, 
call it a day. Boom. Okay. So what else do I do? I just want to change up my little wardrobe a little bit. So now I'm finding clothes. Well, I'm losing weight, but I'm looking at I'm still buying clothes in the middle of it, in the midst of it, because I don't want to wait till I get skinny then go shopping. No, we're gonna we're gonna shop while we while we got the weight on us. Because I want to get into more stuff. Fashion. Like I said, health, health, beauty, fashion, all of that. Um, I want to get into it. I love like decorating and stuff like that. So I'm finding my niche in that on home decor. So I'm into that. So I just want to get myself involved into all, all of that. I want to um, open up a beauty bar eventually. So my goal is to do that. And I want to make sure my mindset and everything, I am in the right place for myself before I before I open up a beauty bar or go into entrepreneurship fully. Yes. Encourage you all to do what makes you happy. Like I said, don't worry about nobody else because you're living for you. You have one life to live. You're doing it for you, and I'm doing it for me. So don't do it to make anybody else happy. I don't care who it is. Your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your boyfriend, your kids. Live how you want to live. And I hope it's you're living in the, the right way, living it the right way. Go out, have fun, mingle with friends, you know. If you're alone, if you want to be in the house, clean up, watch TV, get up, whatever you do in your home. If that's what makes you happy, do it. That's all I got to say is just do it. Now I am in a good mental space. And the people around me are supporting me like, okay, Nish, I see you. I see you, girl. I'm like, you see it. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm always the girl who on the scene get everybody in. I'm the hype girl, you know, and I love it. I love being the hype girl. I love smiling. I love laughing. I love eating, but now I have to eat healthy. <laughs> and I like to walk in the room and a party like, I don't like to sit around in this dry energy. Who want to be around dry energy? I want to be around fun people, fun vibes, and just have a good time. I love good talks, baby, because I'm nosy. I want to know who, what, when, where, how, <laughs> all of that. But in the midst of it, this is my journey, and I walk in through it, and I just want all of us to go on this happy journey, and I hope you all can go on this journey with me. And my main goal was to Start blogging more. Start posting more. Find time, sit some time aside to edit, to create, sit down and write and create ideas. Write in my journal more. I got a journal and I be writing in it. This is one of my journals now. And I just be writing and writing, trying to find ideas and all type of stuff. And I need to do more of that. So that helps me out a lot. Like when I have so much going on in my mind and I just want to, um, want so much going on in my mind and I just need to let it out and you can't talk to nobody, write it down. Get your journal. You know, we was little, we used to get a diary. I had a diary, but I really didn't write in my diary much because at that time, I was going with the flow. I was being a kid. I was being a teenager. And I really didn't have really much to write down to talk about. Even though I really did, but I went into journaling and write down my mental thoughts at that time. But as you get older, like, it really helps. It releases a lot of stress and everything. Like, journaling and just writing down is the truth. But I'm trying to be more consistent with everything, especially vlogging and uploading. So the reason why I created this channel, because I want, again, I wanted to show more of me and um, my other channel is more of me and my family and stuff like that. Me having fun and all that. But this one, this channel is personal. Yeah, this channel is personal. So I'm going to treat it like it's one of my girls. One of my girls. So yeah, I'm excited and I'm ready for this journey. So again, if you're on this journey, ride it ride it until you at the point where you're like okay i'm at the point where i want to be so that's what i'm doing i'm on this journey until i'm at the point where i want to be and i just want to be this woman like okay nothing can really hurt my feelings i'm nonchalant about stuff 
Ain't nobody come and turn me down. Ain't nobody making me feel some type of way. None of that. So, that's why I'm creating my bubble. The bubble of people who I want to let in my life, in my circle, in my bubble. And this is, sometimes it's sad that you have to be that way. You know, you can't let everybody in your circle because there's snakes out there, everything. But because they, <laughs> they will bite you quick. And I don't want nobody to bite me. I'm scared of snakes. <laughs> but, yes, I just wanted to touch in on today. I hope you enjoyed this quick video of me just talking about my journey and um, my lifestyle changes and inspiring you to do the same. Inspiring you to, girl, get up. You can do it. Girl, qu quit procrastinating. Get out there to bed, get that money, go to the bag, get in the gym, hit the grocery store, cook, get out them fast food lines. <laughs> yeah, we can do it. We can do it. So let's get to it. At the end of the day, it's about what? What I said at the beginning, your own happiness. Finding yourself, being that woman you want to be and inspire yourself. Don't wait on others to inspire you. You inspire yourself. Always looking for a validation from somebody else. You validate your own self. You talk to yourself. I am that girl. I am that girl. I am that girl. I am it. I'm the, mm, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes we don't got to have name brand, clothes on, and flashy this, flashy that. Simple stuff to be cute. You can go to Ross. You can go to Marshall's. You can go on Shein, all them type of stuff. You know, clothes that cost that don't cost that much, and you can put it together. You know, like I said, we fear it in our own way. It's how you create your own style. I create my own style. My kids create their own style. My friends they have their own style, and we don't look at each other like, mm, "What's that you got on?" Or your style is weird. No, people have their own style, and there is nothing wrong with it. So. Get up, get started, quit procrastinate. And another thing, and another thing, I want to start getting up early. I find myself sleeping late, snoozing, getting up at the last minute, and now I'm up rushing, rushing for work, rushing to get ready, rushing to get to the event. When I could have got myself up early, prepare myself the night before, and be ready. So that's one thing we need to do. We need to get up and get ready. Prepare for the next day. Prepare for the next minute. So you don't have to rush and be looking a mess. Rushing just all over the place. You rushed and you left something at home. So rushing, you have to do this and do that. So get up early. Make up your bed. Clean your room before you leave the house in the morning. So wake up early. Make up your bed. Shower. Meditate, eat breakfast, pray, whatever you do, let that be your everyday morning routine. Me too. That's what I've been doing this whole week. Getting up early, making up my bed, and getting out the house on time. Now I'm finding myself making it to work an extra hour early. Now, I, now I'm able to sit in the car, get content write down my ideas and all that stuff able to edit a little bit because when i'm at home i'm busy i'm a mother of five i'm busy i'm always on the go at the store all type of stuff so so much go, goes on in my house it's loud kids running around so you got to find the space and time for yourself to get whatever you need done done so if i have to get up early to make it to work an extra hour early and sit in my car to write down my ideas and think and all that, that's what I'm gonna have to do. That's what I'm gonna have to do. So it's new. And now I'm like, I'm ready for a nap midday. <laughs> Cause I got up too early. But go to bed at a decent time. So I can't complain. I'm tired. I'm this and this and that. Go to excuse me. Go to bed. Go to bed at a decent time. So that's why I just hear myself, girl. I used to go to bed at 12, 2, 3 in the morning, especially if my baby had a nap and she's up, we up. Then here I am, I have to get up 6 in the morning. 
Mm-mm. No wonder why I need a nap in the midday, a long nap. But I can't take a nap because I'm at work. Well, I can't take a nap because I got to be here, got to be there. Today, I took a nap. <laughs> it was short, but I took a nap. And I just can't wait to get to the point to where I don't need a nap. I'm energized. I'm ready to go. I'm like, okay, what's next? Where are we going next? What am I doing next? I can't wait to get to that point. And, yeah. So, I mean, I'm just I'm just ready. Are you ready? What are we doing? We're not procrastinating? Yeah, it's the middle of the year, so. It's never too late to start over. It's never too late to change your mind. It's never too late to get your life right. It's never too late to eat right. It's never too late to get in the gym. And also with girls, you know, with Miss Jackie, oh, rest in peace. You know, some of us do have insecurities about our body, about certain points, parts of our body that we don't like. So we get cosmetic surgery. And ain't nothing wrong, baby, with it because, baby, I want it so bad. I'm just too scared to get it. But I hate that that happened to her. It happened to multiple women. And I'd rather try to lose the weight naturally before anything. Because if I had the, the um, if I had the mindset and the faith and everything, I would do it. I would do it. I so do it. And just reading the phone, hearing about what happened is so sad. And thinking about her children, thinking about her husband, her family, everybody. So devastated. I know they are going through a storm right now. And we just don't pray for them. And pray for everyone who lost someone who's going through cosmetic surgery because us women, we have so many insecurities. We just want our body to be right, especially after having babies. And I had five, and this is the biggest I ever been. And even after four, I was still, you know, a nice little shape. When I was 160, I thought I was like fit, and I wasn't. You know, it's just like when you go back and look at those pictures, like, dang, I want to go back to this size. But when I was that size, I was complaining. So we have to just take our body as it is, eat healthy, eat right. And that's what I'm on. If I can eat healthy, eat right to get to get a little smaller, then I'm going to do that. Because it's scary out here. Like, we put our life in the man's hand and, and anything can go wrong. The doctor could be good, but anything can go wrong. We don't know what our body can take, what our body can handle all of that and I'm just when I heard about that it was just sad and like I said I just pray for her, for her family her kids most definitely cause ain't nothing like a motherless child and those babies are really young they young right now to understand but they got a uh, I know they got a good supportive team supportive family and they'll be okay but with that being said, I just want to again send positive energy, positive vibes y'all way, and let's get to it. Let's hold each other accountable for growth, growing to the woman we are meant to be. And thank you for watching Fierce Days, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and comment down below your favorite part about the video, what is it you would like to change, and what way can I motivate you? And I'm here for it. We're here together. Smooches. So